Want to know how to forward your business calls to a personal number, mobile device, or even international numbers? It's not magic. I'll show you how it's done. But if you want to see magic, there used to be a bunny in there. Okay, that's weird. Everything you ever wanted to know about what business call forwarding is, how it works, receiving personal calls, and all the dope benefits will be revealed. That was supposed to go poof with a cloud of smoke. Business call forwarding with a VoIP system can instantly transfer calls to any number or mobile device you want. The more you know, the more you realize you don't know. Am I right? If you don't know much about that VoIP thing I just mentioned, we've got a link in the description that'll take you to a whole other video that explains what it is. Okay, me. Carry on. So, how is this different from regular old school call forwarding? For one thing, VoIP phones have a feature called sequential ringing, where an incoming call goes to a business line and could then go to a mobile device and then maybe finally to a coworker. If you can't answer. <clears throat> you can also route calls based on time of day. So if your office is closed, a call can go to another line of your choosing. That way your customer isn't listening to an endless series of rings. One more way they're different, if you're expecting an important customer to call, you can forward the call to your personal number. And presto! Hello? Sorry, I better take this. It's about my car's extended warranty. I have to remember to be careful with this thing. Now I'll share the spell for how business call forwarding works. First, receiving. Incoming calls are sent through the VoIP server to lines you've assigned according to what your business needs. Next, your VoIP provider, following the rules you've established in your online portal, forwards the incoming calls when you can't answer. Lastly, the incoming calls are instantly connected to the extension phone or device you've chosen. This all happens in an instant. The caller won't experience any wait time at all. This next part requires an eye of Newt. Oh wait, that's, that's for a levitation spell. Never mind about that. Let's talk about common types of business call forwarding. You've got call forwarding always, where all incoming calls are sent to another device or number. Then there's call forwarding selective, where you can selectively route individual callers to a particular number. You can think of this as a more exclusive option for those VIP calls you want to send to your personal number. Call forwarding when busy is, well, exactly like it sounds. When you don't have time and you're fine with the call going to another number or voicemail, this is your best option. There's also call forward when unreachable. You can forward calls to other numbers if the original numbers go offline. For example, if there's a power outage, this option keeps your communication going. Basically, if you're expecting important calls, now you don't have to worry about missing them. Hello? Merlin? Asking advice from me? Dang it. If you have a large workforce, business call forwarding can ensure that departments aren't overwhelmed. The good news is you don't have to figure this all out by yourself. Nextiva offers top-rated communication systems. So if you think your business could benefit from call forwarding, call queues, interactive voice response, call routing, and a whole lot of other magical business communications products, check out the link below. And voila, you now know what business call forwarding is, how it works, all the features available to your company, and all the benefits. Wait, I don't own any scarves. Want to learn more? Dive deeper via the blog link in our description. Have another business communications question? Ask in the comments. And as always, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next blog powered by Amazing Service. Until next time. You know I can see you, right?